Pero dito sa Kababayan Today, alam naman natin that there are all these events that are happening for the Filipino community everywhere in America. You know, Los Angeles has a lot of them. They're very segregated, pero palaging meron. Now, the question is, how do spaces like these events represent the diversity of cultural expression for us Phil Ams? Uh, JP, let's start with you. Well, I'll say that just um, reflecting on my first time going to one, it was so transformative to see, um, again, just the different facets of our community performing, not only just performing, but also um, selling their goods. Yes, sell the vendors. Exactly, exactly. Seeing the independent booksellers. So all of that, I think, is, again, such an eye-opener for second-generation folks like me who grew up in very multi-ethnic neighborhoods, but not with a Filipino-American community. Mm -hmm. These events are happening all over town. Napakadami, yes. ba? Uh, you can't possibly go to everyone, you know. So, uh, Carolina, what have you uh, been to? What events have you been to that you uh, enjoyed or have brought your family along well, there's to? There's festivals, there's restaurants, there's parties, mm -hmm. there's national, national like statues, the Rizal statue in Carson. Um, there are as many Filipino identities as there are Filipinos. Right? Like okay. we all have our own relationship to what it is. Mm -hmm. And it's gotten to this point that, you know, when you get the Facebook and all your events come up and there's just way too many. Yes. You actually have to start curating your life. Like, I will do these kind, but I'm not going to do these kind. That's right. right. And you start to met out your own identity, and especially with your children. You know, that these are the activities. This is how we participate. So um, it, it's, it's really part of... Um, I'm afraid to say this horrible academic word, but it's this idea of this postmodern condition. I know, Carol just like winced, but it's the fact that <laughs> identity is kind of, it's imploding and exploding at the same time. That's right, yeah, yeah. Right, and with that comes this very anxiety inducing, I wanna know what Filipino is. Well, mm -hmm. that's like trying to make a hard boiled egg out of scrambled eggs, it's over, or an omelet, right? It's already, it's already exploded mm -hmm. into these many different ways. Yeah. But with that is the freedom to choose. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right? The, this is how I will engage. This is how my family will. Yes. And then who knows what my kid will do, but you know. Right. But it's important <laughs> that at least we expose them right. to and it. And they're there. Yes. Yes. Right. Uh-oh. Uh, Carol, what about you? The spaces mm -hmm. for um, cultural expression. Well, in addition to the PCN, mm -hmm. which I support, um, and where my son, uh, mm -hmm. Daniel, performed. The FPAC, the Festival of Philippine Arts and Culture, has been around since 1992, uh, starting at LACC. Yes. And I've, I've been taking my kids since they were babies. We've met other babies. And every year, those babies would see each other annually at FPAC. And they grew up seeing each only other seeing there. each other once a year and became lifelong friends. You know, I, to me, that's precious. That's important. That's how you build community. That's yes. how you build your identity, your culture. When, um, when, when these kids who were born here and everything get to talk with their peers mm -hmm. in, in that space. So that's why I bring them every year. And I'm, I'm looking forward to this year. And I, um, it, you know, wherever FPAC will be held this year, I'm looking forward to that my, because my daughter who now has a brand new baby. Uh -huh. We're hoping to, to bring that next generation mm. and In for them to meet all the different. other babies. Yes. Yeah, and see the uh, next I generation. know, uh, Enrique, you are you and your wife, Tita Prosi, are, are always at these functions and events, no? Yeah, well, we try to, but like, but like <laughs> said, you know, at one point you just say, you draw the line and yes. start to curate. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want to add to what uh, Carol is saying. Uh, but I want to point out also an additional, an additional uh, space that uh, actually to me is even more relevant for the second and third generation. Mm, and these are the, the okay, a good example are the, is the Asian mm. film festivals. Mm -hmm. no? that, that like say for example the Visual Communications has mm -hmm. a huge film festival every year. Yes, Hari Nang Tondo was right, screened there. They yeah. bring in everything from India, mm -hmm. you know. Harana. Indonesia and yeah. Philippines, the best of the Filipino filmmakers coming out from the Philippines. And of course, the Filipino Americans or Asian American filmmakers. Mm -hmm. To me, that, that also, just like the FPACs and stuff, right? 
uh, because here you actually see, you know, uh, Filipinos acting like Filipinos if it's a film in the Philippines. Right, in okay. The Philippines, no? And so, and, and not just that, because it is curated to be uh, for a broader audience. Uh -oh. And so it, it, they, they can, they, 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 the so-called, your native-born Filipinos mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. in America can see it and say, oh, that's what it is. No, yes, and understand that, that and culture, understand, right? right. Uh, through film, through dance, through art, this is how we are able to sort of discover what it means, right? <laughs> we'll be back for more. <laughs>